Hello, this is Greg James, and you're watching the brilliant Campus TV. Uh, hello, this is Will and Aaron. We are here with Greg James after his fantastic set to round up Freshers Week. Um, we were in there, we thought it was absolutely fantastic. How was it for you? I feel like you need to explain your clothes first. Because if someone's watching this with no context, they think that this is their first impression of you. <laughs> <laughs> we do all these in, in so good. So good. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> this is what we wear. Um, it was really, hello by the way, it was really good. I've really, I've been here loads of times. Really too many. I think I've outstayed my welcome. I really like coming back here, but I wonder when the tipping point will be when people will be like, oh, not him again. But um, as it's freshers, no one's seen me before, so per the perfect crime. Exactly, you have yeah. a new group of people in every yeah. year, and it's brilliant. Yeah, it was, um, it was all pre-mixed. No, it wasn't all pre -mixed. <laughs> Okay, so when you're on a night out, you're going heavy, like everyone dressed in their togas and found it all tonight, mm. what's the one song for you that comes on that makes you just go wild? Like when Mr. Brightside came on tonight, everyone mm. went nuts. What's that song for you? That, that amazes me, that song, because... Actually, there's a couple of quite old songs that I played tonight, and I and it is it is remarkable that they're still people still like them. Blink One Eight Two, All the Small Things is a good one. Killers Mr. Brightside. I know it's a classic, but but also that was a classic when I was at university. I'm I'm really old, so um, so that that is amazing to, to see that that still works. That song. And actually, the big one tonight I thought was DJ Snake. Um, turned down for what? Oh yeah, it was that unbelievable. Was... I mean, normally that gets a, a good reaction, but tonight people were. People were, um, to coin a phrase, going ham. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you're obviously here helping us finish off a brilliant freshers. Um, when you were at uni, yeah. other than all of your brilliant freshers events, what was your most embarrassing moment <laughs> uh, that you can tell us about? <laughs> there was, um, there, there's a, there's an, inc there's an, <laughs> there's an incident by the lake. There's a lake, <laughs> there's a lake at UVA. And um, I've never really told anyone the full story, but it was, and I, I won't now, but it, I mean, you can fill in the, the, the gaps, but it was, I was discovered with, with, with I was discovered with somebody, uh, <laughs> by the lake. I, uh, I, I think. It's quite a, it was quite a short walk from the, the LCR where we used to have our nights to uh, just wander down to the lake, just for, you know, really? yeah, to be at one with nature. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, on that note, if you could go back and do your university again, I would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would be cleverer about doing it, so I would be more hidden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you do differently? Well, you would go hide um, instead of being fine. I wouldn't do anything differently. I, I, I really wouldn't. I, I really loved it. I loved. I, I loved all the bad bits. All the good. You've got to enjoy all the bad bits and the good bits because it just makes up your university life I really enjoyed it um, all the embarrassing nights out all the embarrassing moments with you know relationships or whatever everything was great I loved doing student radio and um, doing and DJ on the stage and so I sort of DJ at student nights and stuff like that so I, I just really enjoyed it all and actually what I, I would if, if, if there's anything it would be go to even more gigs because there were so many there was always a gig on and it was because Norwich is um, <laughs> Norwich is the centre of the east so it's kind of bands tend to go. They do a they do a date in Cambridge and they'll go to Bristol and they'll, they'll the regional tour. They'll always do Norwich. So I saw some amazing bands when I was a student. So in my first year, we had the Killers turn up. So wow! They, so the Killers exactly. So the Killers were on the NME tour in <clears throat> 2004. So it was the Killers, Kaiser Chiefs, Future Heads, and Block Party. And the year later, it was Arctic Monkeys, Maximo Park, Mystery Jets, and We Are Scientists. <laughs> wow! So that really when I was 18, I was like, that was the most amazing I'd ever seen in my whole life, that these bands were there, and that really sort of uh, shaped my musical taste, I think. Wow. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, uh, like you say, you've been to Bath a few times, been mm. to the uni, and you, know, you enjoy the area. Um, you've done the Bath half a few times, are you planning uh, yeah. on doing that again this year? Or? Yeah, what is it? Mar February, isn't it? February or March? Yeah, maybe. I'd, yeah, I'd like to. I think if there's a, there's a charity called Copperfield that I do a lot of work for. So if they if they've got if they've got a presence here, I'll definitely do it with them because they're they're great and it is an amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a great day out. Yeah, have you done it? Especially you haven't done it yet because you've not been here. I I try not to run. <laughs> yeah, I'm it is good. It's a, it's a really good day actually. If you wanted to get into a, a half marathon, that's a friendly one to do. How doable well, is it? It's doable because it's the same course twice. 
So you, you do six miles, you do the same six miles twice, six and a bit miles. I don't know how I feel about that. Is that not, like, repetitive? Uh, it's okay. It's when you when you get to the line, you're like, oh, I have to do it all again. <laughs> a little bit. It's um, but it's nice because it's. But what it is good for is that there's support the whole way around. So you've got loads of people just lining the route, which is good. Okay. You need support. Nice. People holding out jelly babies. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, so obviously we have just started university and we're in halls. I'm so jealous, by the way, that you just started university. It's so good. It's pretty. Look so at your faces. You're so excited about <laughs> university. Um, I, I walked in and. Uh, I walked in and they went, how is it? They went, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly, it is, it is the best. That, that, that Freshers' Week is so fun. I, I, I really miss it. It's incredible. And one of the... Another weird old man that comes <laughs> and just keeps coming back. Hi, kids. <laughs> I remember my, I remember I was a fresher. Oh, God, the line, it was fun. Uh, one of the main parts of Freshers' Week and university in general, I suppose, is uh, the romance. <laughs> um, and everyone wants a bit of the action. What would... Your <laughs> Are you declaring your love for Will? <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, <laughs> yeah. what would your uh, mm. best chat up line be? Oh God! Um. <laughs> Pressure's on. I don't think. I don't think. I think they've ever really done a a chat up line. I don't think they really. People don't really use them, do they? Not really. Well, then, what's the worst one you've ever heard? <sighs> um. The. Um, the one about your eyes being like spanners is every time I see them, my nuts tight. <laughs> that's so classic. I must say, I've never heard of that. <laughs> it's horrendous. Really, isn't it's it? not great. No, it's not really at creepy. All. You should really. You know, that's that's asking for pepper spray. Yeah, it, it really is. <laughs> it yeah, really is. exactly. Yeah. What What are your opinions on um, within the flat romance? Do you think that kills the vibe, or is that something funny? I think it's inevitable. I think you've just got to let these things play out. Roll with it. You have to literally roll with it. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, yeah, you can't put rules and those sorts of things because it's going to happen. And the more you say not, the more horny you're going to be. And you're gonna do it. <laughs> that's true. It's, it's, true. Isn't it? yeah. it's the bit forbidden fruit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think uh, it's not ideal, but I think at university you sort of get away with it. In mm -hmm. the real world, I think it's a really bad idea because it's quite difficult to like get on with your actual life. But yeah. when you're 18 or 19, it's kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> so, moving swiftly on so, Did you want some advice? <laughs> <laughs> Has anything happened already, Will? Nothing, okay. I promise. <laughs> You're sounding so sad about it. I promise. <laughs> Maybe don't keep wearing a toga then. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is tight, this is all I've got. Buy my bed sheets. Um, so, you started, obviously, your radio career working in like university media and radio and yeah. stuff like that. So, what advice would you have for any students uh, around the country who are looking to... Get, start their radio careers. Get involved with it because it's uh, it's a brilliant thing. I mean, the equipment in here is excellent. That whole studio setup is brilliant. I've, I've been here a few times actually. It's I've seen it. I've seen it um, just get better and better. And I think all over the country that is replicated. Just you know, money gets spent on it and everything. <laughs> the one thing about the tuition fees going up is that the the, <laughs> the student unions get a bit more money to do cool stuff like this, which is which is brilliant. So you should take make the most of it and and go and do stuff with the student newspaper or the student TV or student radio because it, even if it's even if you don't want to do it as a job it's a good social thing to do and that's what I realised about Livewire, my old station it's that it, it was actually the biggest society I don't know what this one is numbers wise but it was the biggest society on campus and uh, I'd say it was like 40% people were like nerds like me who went just to do it and get better at presenting and work out how to run it and all the rest of it and the other load of people were just there for a, a jolly. And, that, mm. and it was brilliant because yeah. it was a good mixture of people. And actually, the people who were there for a jolly really got into it. And some of them, you know, it's it really good. It's a good society, yeah. Cool. And so it feels like you're actually doing something new and exciting. Fair enough. Right. Well, thanks. Really great interview, as promised. Oh, the greatest interview of the night. The greatest, the most yeah. first, isn't it? No. No, I've had many, many. Who else you interviewed? Uh, Greg James, and? Radio 1. And. Great <laughs> <laughs> right. you, you should make up some names. Uh, who else have we interviewed? James Gregson. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, he's my favourite. <laughs> uh, I think that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. But, uh, Do you have any more burning questions that you desperately want to ask? Uh, I don't think so. Have you? If you could pick three songs for the 10 minute takeover, what would they be? I do really want to know this. <laughs> I would choose... Hmm, uh, I would choose... Going Missing by Maximo Park, which I also think would be my funeral song. <laughs> 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 and just as the, uh, 
just as the coffin is disappearing into the flames. <laughs> Uh, a bit dark, isn't it, for a <laughs> student media interview? Um, I've given it a lot of thought, actually. Um, also, I would choose... I think I'd probably choose uh, Dire Straits, Romeo and Juliet, just for my dad, because he loves it. And probably... Uh, I don't know. I'll give you the final, final choice. That's what I would do. What would it oh, be? Oh, that's major pressure. Oh, I haven't thought about this. Any song in the whole world. Bump and grind. <laughs> it has to be really, doesn't it? That's a real good insight into your brain. Yes. <laughs> what can I say? Alright, sweet. Well, thanks for a great set. Thank great you, Will. Interview. Cheers. Thank you, Aaron. It was a pleasure. And thank you, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.